It's your girl just sold out and today we will be going into Reading Terminal Market. I eventually want to try all the different food and eateries available inside of here. So we'll be starting off today with something a little special. The market itself is extremely empty in comparison to what it normally is. And even though I went in at about 2.30, definitely past lunch hour, there's barely any people there. But luckily, all of the vendors have basically opened up at this point. Every year since I think I was in middle school, I've gone to Jamaica with my family. So this year, since it looks like we're probably not heading there, I have been craving Caribbean food, specifically this Jamaican patty, which I know and love and basically even grew up with. I ordered a platter of jerk chicken with steamed vegetables and another platter of oxtail with steamed cabbage and both of them came with rice and beans. Due to this recent pandemic, there are absolutely no seats available inside so I took this as a to-go order and actually ended up eating with my husband at home. And luckily we live a few blocks away, so just close enough. And one of the reasons why I really want to try every place inside of Reading Terminal Market. Mm, this patty. This just looks so good. My God. There's nothing better than Jamaican patties. This one is... <gasps> This looks amazing. Wow. So I think this looks like it's the oxtail. Because it has the cabbage, and I ordered the cabbage with the oxtail, so it must be the oxtail. This. And then, last but not least, it smells like jerk everywhere. So good. Looks so good. It smells amazing too. Look at all that. Mm. And then steamed vegetables, classic side dish with this. Got the rice and beans. That's more traditional Caribbean style, I believe. But I think just way better than white rice. Wow, this jerk chicken looks amazing. Okay, let me try the rice. A little bit chicken first. Mm. Braised to perfection. The rice and beans just mm. I feel like I'm in Jamaica all over again. Steamed vegetables goes so well. Chicken, a little rice, okay, less rice. Mm. I need this all the time. Got to see this beef patty. I can eat like 20 of these. Not that I have. I'm definitely eating like five in a row. This is really good. Oh yeah, that's how you know it's the good stuff. Mm. This is so good. This is definitely not the frozen stuff. <laughs> this one is chicken. Lighter color everywhere, outside and inside. Definitely not, ooh, definitely some cinnamon. Wow, that's interesting. Just kind of hits you right there. The beef patty is the classic style, Caribbean style, I believe, but in Jamaica, this is like the thing that I would eat all the time. I think chicken is a good way to go if you're just not in the mood for beef, you want something a little lighter, but honestly, I can eat either of them. Totally, so good. I'm gonna eat some oxtail next. I like have not had this since probably last time I was in Jamaica. It's one of the only places I'll eat oxtail. Jamaica, a bougie new American restaurant. Mmm, smoky. Mm. This is like something you just can't find elsewhere, I feel like. At least it's hard to find in the States. But there's definitely a lot of bone in here. Oh, sauce is so good. Oxtail's amazing. And then, a little cabbage. Mm. 
Mm. I mean, steamed vegetables, steamed cabbage just goes perfect with this. Adds like a little crunchiness, a little freshness, but without taking too much away from the actual entree. This is like, I don't know, five out of five for me. I would definitely go back here again. This is so good. This is a definite, I gotta go back and try what else they have. They didn't have everything. I wanted to try the mac and cheese jerk balls, but they unfortunately didn't have it. Uh, so next time we'll definitely go back and try that. In general, I feel like a lot of Philly places have done limited menus, including outdoor dining restaurants. But I think also Reading Terminal Market, some of the vendors have chosen to do a more limited style option. Okay, I'm gonna eat this meal. Stay tuned for more Reading Terminal Market eateries. I'm planning to try every single place at least once, just because I figure I've got some time to kill and we're so close to Reading Mark, uh, we're so close to Reading Terminal Market that it just makes sense to try all the vendors while we can. See you in the next one.